Hey everyone, it's Nicole from KenHub here, and welcome to our tutorial on the anatomy of the tooth. So thanks for joining me in today's lecture about the tooth. And I want to begin just by talking a little bit about why we have a tutorial on the tooth and how much we're going to go into it. So knowledge of the anatomy of the tooth is of course important to help maintain good oral health. But while it's important, particularly for dentists, it's also a topic that every doctor or healthcare provider should get to know. I know in my training it was skimmed over a little bit, so I think this tutorial will be able to help clear a few things up. So in this tutorial, we will go over this image of the tooth, and we'll use this image to talk about different parts of the tooth and its different structures, including the periodontal structures, which are the structures that support the tooth. But before we begin, let's have a little bit of a chat about the development and function of the tooth. So a tooth is a small calcified structure located within the jaw of human beings. From a histological point of view, the tissue composition of the tooth is found normally only within the oral cavity and is limited to the dental structures. And the main function of the tooth is to break down food into smaller pieces in a process called mechanical digestion, and it's therefore considered to be a part of the upper digestive system. Human beings are diphyodont, which means that they develop two sets or two generations of teeth. And the first set or generation of teeth is referred to as the deciduous dentition, whilst the second set is known as the permanent dentition. The complete set of deciduous dentition is 20, whereas the complete set of permanent dentition is usually around 32, sometimes less. The deciduous dentition is usually complete by the age of 3, and by the age of 6 we begin exfoliating, which is when our deciduous teeth are lost in replacement of the permanent teeth. And all permanent teeth will usually have erupted, which means to become visible in the mouth, between the ages of 18 and 21. There are many different types of teeth, but we'll cover that in a different tutorial. And on our slide, we just have the text describing what we said about the deciduous and permanent dentition. So our deciduous dentition has 20 teeth and our permanent dentition has 32. So now let's move on to looking at the different parts of the tooth. And the first part we're going to look at here is the crown, which we can see here highlighted in green. And it's probably a good time to note that this image is of a molar tooth here, which is a tooth located at the back of the mouth, the other teeth being premolars, canines, and incisors. And as you'll probably have noticed in your own mouth, the other teeth have different shapes for their different functions, these mainly being tearing and crushing food. But here with our molar, we can see that it's shaped a bit large and flat, and it's mainly used for grinding. The bulk of the crown is composed of dentin, or dentine, which is a calcified tissue of the body, with the pulp chamber within. And I'll just point out to you with my mouse where the dentin is, this sort of beige layer, so inside of the enamel but surrounding the pulp chamber. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.